I think like researching hybrid LLMs is something that basically only Tridao and, and Albergu were kind of like looking into. Yeah. What was the story of you guys exploring hybrid LLMs? So we were working on a project that I would call J3, the, the, the third version of our Jurassic model. Jurassic. And we knew it's going to be an MOE. And I think MOE, the, the main reason to do an MOE is that it's way more cost efficient in terms of training budget. And then for inference, we wanted to make it work. So we designed J to have a version that, that fits on a single GPU, a single AY100 or H1, 80 gigabytes, and then a bigger version to, to fit in a single pod. So we had inference in mind to begin with. But then as we were doing the, the ablations, I, I came across the Mamba paper and it actually was pointed out to me by, by several people. And I started reading it and, and, and I already knew like the S4 versions, you know, previous version that they weren't up to par. And what I really, really liked about the, the paper is that unlike some other papers that in order to look good, compare themselves to uh, baselines that are not the best baselines to compare to. <laughs> straight off the bat, compare themselves to, to the latest uh, attention architecture introduced by Lama that, that introduced a lot of corrections that cause things to work. Because before Lama, before all the, the layer norms, there were a lot of problems in getting models to train. So 